Hello and welcome back to the channel and today you join me for this week's Forza Long Guide called Welcome to Colorado and it's a homage to Forza Horizon 1. Now the first thing you want to do is hop in the 2013 Dodge Viper GTS to complete all of the challenges with. So without further ado, let's take a look at the car in question. So it'll set you back 95,000 credits and like I said it's not a Horizon Special Edition, it's just a standard 2013 SRT Viper GTS. Now I have created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon and the share code is on your screen there, 504-468-875 and hopefully this should help you with the challenges. Now as you can see here, the first challenge just wants you to win a road racing event, so super easy. So to do this I recommend heading over to the Arch of Muley circuit as I'm sure you're aware we often do on these challenges. There I've created a race for you guys called Forzathon Easy, the share code is on the screen there. Now this is just one lap with no AI driver tiles which means you are guaranteed to win every single time. Makes these sort of challenges super easy and quick to complete. This probably take you about a minute and a bit to complete a lap. Um, but really really quick, really really easy. You don't actually need the car tuned for this either to be honest. Now the next challenge here wants you to earn 9 stars from speed traps. Now again this is really easy to do. I'm going to do something a little unconventional here though. I'm going to head over to the Paso Inferior speed trap. Now there's a few reasons for this. Uh, first of all 3 stars on here is only 105 mile an hour which is super low. Now I know what you're thinking. A rear wheel drive car on a dirt track isn't the best choice. But because the sort of speed score limits are so low it really doesn't matter. Now on a couple of runs you'll probably get 2 stars unless you do a longer run up. But it's really not a problem because from this end that you can see me coming from now, you're pretty much guaranteed three stars. Um, and one star on here is 35 mile an hour. So compared to other speed traps which have 220 mile an hour top speeds, you've not got to take massive run ups. So even though you might not get three stars on every run, it will still only take you about a minute. Now moving on to the final challenge, I want you to get an ultimate skill chain. To do this I recommend heading over to the drag strip by the main Horizon Festival. Now an ultimate skill chain I believe is 20,000 skill score multiplied by 5 uh, or equivalent of 100,000 skill score. Now to do this I just recommend hooning around wherever you are. Like I said this area is probably the best for it or you can continue hooning around from the same area that you had the speed trap in as well. But I recommend heading over here. Just pretty much get loads of drifting, smash skills, smashing into um, cacti and stuff like that. And you're pretty much guaranteed to get it in only a couple of minutes. Um, but that is it. That's a really easy final challenge there. Also, guys, don't forget to stick around because the photo challenge guide will be following this, which, again, is another Horizon 1 themed challenge. Um, but if you are struggling with any of the challenges, please do let me know down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribing massively helps me out. And also, if it did help, dropping a like is very much appreciated. But like I said, if you struggle with anything, let me know down below in the comments. Apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and stick around for the photo challenge, guys. Cheers.